Hello and welcome back to Mastering Flat Design. In this video, I'm going to throw a background color on our design and then put in the text for our header. So we're going to start with the background color. I've got the background layer selected right now. So for the foreground color in our color selectors on our toolbar, I'm going to choose a color of DF, 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 and that'll give us the light gray background color we're looking for. So once we have that selected as our foreground color, we've got the background layer selected. I'm going to hit option delete on my Mac, or if you're using a PC, you would hit alt backspace and that will fill the selected layer with the foreground color. So we've filled that layer with this gray color and now we can enter our text for the title. And so this is going to be a website for an interactive designer. So for the header, I'm just going to put the guy's name and then his title interactive designer just below it. And I want the header for this particular site to be centered on the stage. So there's a few ways we could do that. I want to go ahead and run through a couple of them. I'm going to hit T to switch to the text tool and I'm going to set the text align option here to center. And you'll notice that I've got Acme selected for the font, 48 point selected for the font size, and for the font color, I'm going to choose a value of 868686, a darker gray. So we'll click on OK. And the easiest way to do this, you'll notice that we have a guide in the very center of our stage, which we created a little bit earlier. And if we just click on that center line with the center option selected, it will create our text field and we can enter in our text. Jerry Clutterbuck. Now there's other ways to do this if you want to center your text within a given area. And I just want to show you one more way. Another easy way to do it is to create a text field that spans the entire width of your stage or the entire width of the area that you want your text centered in. So let's say that we have this left column here that takes up half of the content area. Let's say we wanted to center our text there. If we don't have a guide there or if we don't want to take the time to put a guide there, we could just create a fixed width text field by clicking on the left guide and dragging out to the right guide and then typing in our text like so. Another option, I said there was one more option I was going to show, but I'll actually show another one. Another option is to simply create your text like so. And then once we create it, get it roughly where we want it to be and then select both the background layer and the text layer. And with the selection tool selected or the move tool selected, we can come up here to these control options here, or these alignment options and click on the one right here. It's the second from the last one that aligns the horizontal centers. And we click on that and you'll see that it aligns the text to the center of the stage. So then we can click on just the text layer by itself and use the arrow keys to nudge it into place with the move tool selected. So there's our title. Now I'm going to put a subtitle just beneath it and it's going to say interactive designer. So I'm going to hit T to switch back to the text tool. And if we were to change our font settings right now, then it would actually change the font settings for Jerry Clutterbuck because that text layer is still selected. So I'm just going to click down here and create our new text layer and go ahead and enter in our text. And this is all lowercase interactive designer. And then once we've entered in that text and applied those changes, then we'll make changes to the font. So I'm going to bring this down to 24 point to make it quite a bit smaller. Go to the move tool and nudge it up. And then I want to spread the text out a little bit. I want to put a little bit of spacing between the letters by applying a little bit of uh, character spacing there. And I'm going to do that using the character panel which you can find here. If it's not here, then you can find it in the window menu or with the text tool active. I hit T to switch to the text tool. You can also click on this icon right here and that will open up the character panel. Either way, once we get there, I want to bring this up by clicking and sliding on it. Somewhere around 220 should get us where we want. And there we go, that looks good. So now we'll just switch back to our move tool Maybe nudge that up a little bit, a little bit closer to the main title. And there we go. So there's the title for our website. So let's save our file. I'm going to save it as flatdesign02.psd and we'll move on with the next video. Thank you for watching.